All right, I should be live according to Elrock. So this is, oh, well, we get to see the title screen first. So winners don't use drugs. That's the uh, big motto of this marathon. And then, yeah, I'll just start the game. So I'm not promising one CC, so I'm just going to give myself a bunch of credits. So this is Mega Man 2, the Power Fighters. Uh, I did this last year, but I only did one of the stories. So now I'm going to do all three. I'm going to play as Proto Man still, because I still prefer him. So yeah, there's three different stories, all with differing bosses. But I'm going to start with the uh, Recover the New Parts one. And I forgot to start the timer. Okay. So this one sucks. So I'm doing this one first. With that, you can see it's a... Uh, they turn Mega Man into a one-on-one -on -one fighter against like varying bosses between one through six. I'm starting with Napalm Man first because, uh... whoops, the color might be off a bit. I don't know, but I'm starting with Napalm Man first because uh, his weakness, the Gemini Laser, is probably the worst weapon in the history of any arcade game. Who's next? I don't even remember who's next in. So Napalm... Napalm M's weapon has a uh, property where it's a bomb that does like multiple hits. As you can see there. I guess it's kind of neat that the... Uh, Since Gutsman's weakness is a bomb in the original Mega Man, they kind of kept that the same. I'm going to make sure to not select the wrong boss, just in case. So the super arm, there's no blocks to actually pick up, so it's just one giant boulder. And usually when you hit a uh, boss with their weakness, they... Uh, They'll just fly back. Whoops. I shouldn't have grabbed that. I mean, it's not... It just wastes time. So a property in this game is uh, Eddie has weapons. He, he'll uh, spit out around halfway through the fight. And then with Proto Man, it's beat. And it just gives you an invincible shield for however long the weapon meter lasts. Quick man. The air shooter is also a terrible weapon, which you'll see. Especially against a boss like Quick Man, where he's just all around the screen. And then sometimes the uh, bosses, when you hit them, they'll drop a. Uh, I don't know if it's like at all or if it's only when you hit them with the weakness. They'll drop a weapon or health drops. And then those little green pellets are just points, because it's an arcade game. try and avoid yeah, quick man is okay well quick man's a, not a good boss like Sometimes bosses can just block shots as well. I don't remember if like all of them can or That was a really bad fight And then as you can see at the bottom of the uh, screen as you progress through bosses the uh The uh, bosses will get more and more health. I was really hoping Eddie would show up now, because Pharaoh Man is not a very. He's kind of a tough boss.
Oh, whoops. Yeah, each character will also have a special weapon. Or a special attack, I mean, by when you charge, you hold up. And then Proto Man's is just a uh, big fireball. Uh, Mega Man's is a plasma uppercut. I forget what bases is, and I forget what duos is, because I've never played those. So this part we just got, if we hold up and then press jump, we get a super jump. It is uh, exclusive to this version. Whoops. Or to this story, I mean. I might have to open the stream myself and see what's up with the colors. Or if it's just because it's an arcade game. So we got through the uh, bosses. But we might die to the uh, the Wily boss. Because his weakness is the uh, quick boomerang and he's in the air the whole time. And then he'll eventually send out like smaller dragons. And it's like this boss is really annoying sometimes. But I guess you just have to know when to, uh, super jump and all that. Can you grab the health? Yeah, I've never used... I've used base a little bit. I didn't really... Just his dashing was kind of stupid. I was... I was hoping it would kill the dragon, but it did not. I'm gonna die now. Dang. This boss is horrible, though. I apologize that this story, you know, I've already failed the... But just trying to shoot with the, uh, super jump and all that... It's kinda Game difficult. And this is also why I did this one first, so I could just get it out of the way. Alright, so the, uh, Wily Machine... And the capsule eventually won't, uh, these are the same for each, uh, stage, for each story, I mean. And then every, uh, every story you can literally just jump and cheese it, and then just hit him right as his, uh, iframes run out. It's, this one's kind of annoying because of the, uh... Uh... The dragon's getting in your way. So this Wily Capsule fight is scripted. It doesn't really matter if you wait for the timer or kill him. Because you win either way. So I'm just gonna... Defeat him anyway. Both this story and... Uh, the first story... Which we're about to see... You either... Like, you kill him at the one second left. And that's the... Uh, find the parts one. And it's not good. Do not pick this one up to speedrun if you want to pick up like individual stories. So we are going to 
do the search for Wily. What? Then we're going to do Gyromant first because his weakness is Plant Barrier, and Plant Barrier is horrible. Went up. I don't remember if this one, this story has a specific part that gives you a special ability. So the weapons they tried to uh, they tried their best to translate them pretty well to uh, the arcade, but obviously like as you saw like Centaur Man doesn't have a Centaur Flash because that doesn't really translate too well to the uh, to an arcade game because it's just a big flash that does damage to everything on the screen. So he gets an arrow, which we'll see against Shadow Man. There's Shadow Man. Then, as you can see, the uh, the centaur arrow will. Uh, go in different directions and I don't know how to control it and then shadow Man's a big frog I believe that's a Mega Man 6 reference but shadow Man's not the one riding it in Mega Man 6 obviously So we get Shadow Blade, which is pretty similar to the uh, original game, but you can shoot it if you hold up. You shoot it diagonally. And you can't shoot it in like I don't think you were able to shoot in. I'm not sure if you were able to shoot in every direction in the original game as well. Okay, I'm out of Shadow Blade. Yeah, the the weapon energy bars aren't very large in this game. So sometimes you don't really have enough of a shot to kill them with their weapon. So you always have to go back to Buster or something else. Nope, oh, he's jumping all around. I don't know if you can control. I th think it's just after. I don't know if it's random or not, but I think it's just after the boss hits half health. But sometimes it just he just doesn't show up. I guess I'll explain the uh, the blue ball you pick up once the boss dies. Is actually the weapon, <laughs> and uh, if you you can actually time out the game, and if you don't pick it up once the uh, the timer runs out, then you don't get the weapon. Like Plantman, 
uh, as I was saying with the uh, with the uh, weapon energy bars, you do not have enough to uh, kill Plant Man with one full bar. So you're kind of forced to just take Eddie or just use Buster. Proto Man's special special attack doesn't have very large range, so oh, I jumped into that. That was my fault. I'm sorry if I'm kind of blanking on commentary, it's just the... The basics of the game is pretty simple. So our second Wily boss here is the uh, Mad Grinder. Good thing they show their names, because I could not remember his name. I was trying to remember it. And his weakness is the uh, Centaur Arrow. But I ran out of it, so. Luckily, he's not too difficult. It's just the Centaur Arrow isn't a very good weapon. So it might just be faster to, uh... Whoops. To bust him on some occasions. I got a little bit l lucky there, because if he slams down on top of you, he flattens you. And it does tons of damage. Then we have our second Wily machine fight, which is weak to the bubble lead. Whoops. I guess I missed. I missed again. There's not much to the Wily machine fights. It's just uh, get a little bit lucky with where the enemy spawns and all that. Then Wily capsule weakness is Shadow Blade. That's a terrible spawn. Any spawn there again? Luckily, like I guess it'll show off that you don't actually have to defeat him. I don't know why you can't shoot it straight up. Then you'll see him go up, try to escape, and then something hits him, and then he'll just, his capsule will get destroyed anyway. So that is the stop Wily. And I think the ending is probably the same for all of them. I've never actually read the ending. I don't know what the story is for any of them. Now we can... Do Rescue Roll, which is the... One I actually know how to do somewhat. So Elect Man's the first boss. It's just be we do Elect Man first because his weapon is extremely powerful. And you'll see why on the next boss. But he's not giving me good luck. I don't know the story of Mega Man 8 either, so... 
I'm a loss for that as well. Uh, so we get the Thunder Beam, which is a... Uh, As you can see, it splits into three different parts. So if you time it right, all three will just hit the boss and do triple damage. So if you're good, the uh, if you're really good at this game, the uh, preferred strategy is just use the uh, Thunder Beam and try to get as many triple hits as possible. And, and this is story exclusively. Once you rescue roll, she gives you an item that uh, will double your uh, weapon's energy bar. So I want to try and ignore Eddie here because I've got Slashman pinned in the corner. It's actually, I don't think I've ever gotten it, gotten the uh, roll item after Dive Man. Usually I get it after uh, Shade Man or after Stone Man. It might be even, I think it might be possible to get it after the uh, Wily boss as well. So the Slash Claw, there's not really much difference because it is a, it's just a slash attack so they didn't really have to change much between Mega Man 7 and uh, this game. Now I guess I, I didn't explain the Dive Mitchell Missile which is pretty much the same thing as it, as it is in uh, Mega Man 4. It's just a homing missile. Oops. I saw him close his wings, but I still shot him. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. So what you saw me do there was exploit the uh, properties of the uh, Thunder Beam. So that strat probably existed already, but you saw me figure it out live. Then the uh, Noise Crush here will works exactly the same as it does in Mega Man 7, where you can use it as a projectile itself, and then if you bounce it off a wall and it bounces back into you, it does, I guess, double damage. I don't know the actual exact amount of damage. Stone Man was pretty nice there. Usually he likes to uh, throw a lot of shields. What was my estimate for this? Was this 25 or 28? So our third Wily boss is the uh, Yellow Devil, and his weakness is Thunder Beam. So you just want to hope to uh, get the triple hits. 30? I guess my submission time was like a 28. Oh, okay, yeah. If you need to round up for it, then I probably made it 28, but I don't remember what my uh, submission time was. I guess it doesn't really matter. So Yellow Devil works exactly the same. You saw him split into a bunch of different pieces and shoot them at me. Then Wily's back for a third time in the exact same 
machine as we saw him in. But this time it's a lot easier because we don't have an enemy in our face. As I say that, he uh, goes down and shoots me. So not very exciting, but whoops. I don't know what I did there. I think I accidentally hit print screen. I hit him with two. Yeah, this is the, uh, you can actually beat the timer with this one. And, and that is once he gets to the ground, it's time. So that is time. Well, I, I won CC to the first two stories. But good thing I didn't guarantee one because I knew the third story wasn't very good. I'm not very good at it. So, uh... I also thank RDL for uh, letting me play this game again. Because last year I did the just the story I just beat, and then this year I get to do the all three stories, and then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next year because this is the only arcade game I know. What's next? Tri Sports is next, so uh, stay tuned for that. Learn Power Battle? That's actually a decent idea. Maybe I'll look into it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, Tri Sports is next. I forget who's playing it. And, uh, yeah.